What's up guys, this is phase one, and today I'm gonna be taking you through one of the bass sounds from my new EP. The song is called Another Breath. Yeah, so it's a, it's a heavy uh, song, but um, the sound I decided to focus on today is this bad boy here. And purely because it's like one of the sounds that's not layered because all the other sounds in the song are very, very much layered. And it's like the sound that you hear is not just one sound. It's like eight different things going on. So I wanted to like, um, yeah, focus on one thing so then I could like, make a proper passion, like give it to you guys with like a whole bunch of like little automation tools. Um, so it sounds a little something like this. And basically it's pretty simple. Um, it's just, uh, for most sounds I use basic shapes, just like square waves and uh, saw waves and stuff. Um, so this one is literally just, uh, <coughs> A square wave that is being FM'd through this oscillator, just as a saw. Um, we've got the unison up at f uh, four voices for, for this first oscillator. Um, <clears throat> slightly detuned, nothing too crazy. Um, and yeah, so we're kind of getting this tonal kind of sound uh, coming through from. Uh, FMing from the other oscillator. That's like the, the, the square wave by itself. And then we just gotta find the sweet spot. Which is about there. Ish. Uh, so we're getting, getting all these artifacts <coughs> coming in through from the second oscillator, which is pitched up a whole bunch um, pretty randomly. Um, it is, I don't know why, but that's kind of how it turned out. Um, and. <clears throat> I've, I've made this patch, so we're like, what we're gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna give this, this patch away for you in, uh, in, the, in the video, you'll find it in the link below. Um, you can download this patch for free. You can mess around with it. I've, I've given you a whole, whole bunch of like different um, automation uh, things you can mess with, like some pitch and octave stuff. Um, and you, you can just play around with the patch yourself. It's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> Um, so first, um, first thing I've set up is a pitch thing. So you, right now it's doing like a seventh-ish kind of sound, and you can pitch that down so it's doing like a unison. And they've also got another octave, so it basically just puts the uh, the FM up another octave. Pretty fat. Um, and also, I've got it set up so that you, uh, the, the mod wheel is, is doing some vibrato. So if you listen here, and I put the modulation out, you get some nice vibrato out of that. So that's some cool tools you can use. Um, so how we did that was um, all through the matrix. Uh, I've got the... Uh, <clears throat> We've got um, LFO3 is doing, uh, basically controlling the, the vibrato. It's um, just doing this uh, eighth note, like tri triplet eighth note kind of up and down movement really, really quickly. And the, uh, the mod wheel controls how intense that is. And that's, that's basically just controlling the, the master tuning. So it's just like going up and down like one semitone very, very quickly. Um, creating this like vibrato sound. I do that with like most of my like long boy sounds because uh, it's add some characteristics and movement. And we've got envelope two also controlling the master tuning. Uh, so basically, um, it kind of like rises in pitch when you like when you first press the note, kind of goes wow rather rather than just like hitting it. Um, gives some nice movement there. Um, what else is going on here? Um, 
in this patch, I've also included um, a slow start. So right now, the, the patch sounds like if you want it to be more drawn out, we can we can raise this uh, this knob, and you can get more sound like this. So it's like a slower kind of like start. Effects wise, um, it's just a bit of um, bit of dimension, just for some space kind of sound. Flanger here is not doing too much. Uh, kind of just give it there, because like you, the more you have it, you lose a bit of the, the gritty sound. So I've kind of got it around there just for some. Uh, oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Same kind of principle there. Just got the chorus on just for some extra, extra like almost voicing kind of thing. Um, I think. A lot of the characteristic of this sound is coming from the distortion, actually. Um, I just, I've been experimenting with different um, distortions, like I've been using like this one, zero square. You get some, you get some really cool ones out of like these I, I never really messed with before. Like normally I would kind of just use like the normal like tube distortion, but this characteristic for this sound definitely comes a lot from this distortion. Like I'll play it with and without. This is with it, obviously. Um, with it, without it, kind of sounds more hollow uh, in this way. It definitely like really fattens up that sound. Um, reverb, it's just like you know what reverb is. It's just that, there's no, no, nothing fancy there. It's just that's just to fill out the sound as well. Um, everything's being uh, cut off by a, a gate anyway, so. Um, that's that. Only other processing I have on this is some OTT, um, which is literally just some OTT and some saturation. And I've got a corpus on this um, as well, um, set to the key that of the tune, which is D, D minor is the key of this particular tune. And it kind of like, it just adds some tonal presence to the whole sound, like uh, this is the sound with my little rap without it. It's a little bit more harsher, a little less wide. Um, yeah. I, I, pretty much, I pretty much use this kind of rack to most of my sounds. Sometimes I'll add a few OTTs depending on the sound. Um, but that's, there's nothing too crazy going on. This delay here is uh, just for the tail of. Um, the second part of this, which uh, it's like this. That's just part of the song. It goes like. But yeah, in the patch itself, like the, you're not gonna get all this as well, but like I'm just showing you this as well so you can get the exact same sound if you wanted to using the Corpus OTT and Saturator. Um, what else to do with the sound? It's pretty basic, really. I've also got uh, this filter, uh, kind of giving it some more tone as well. If you turn it off, um, it sounds like this. Oops, let me go back here. Cool. Um, so without the filter, it kind of, it sounds a little more detuned, which is, that's because it is detuned, but I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a scientist, but for some reason when you turn it on, it sounds a little less detuned. I don't know why that is, but I like the way it sounds, and I just found the sweet spot where it sounded good, and that's how you produce. You just fuck around until something sounds good, really. That's what I did. Um, there's a bit of there's a bit of noise coming through here, just the S sound, um, just for some extra high end, the sub as well. Pretty basic, but it's some cool tools to play around with. This will be a free download. You'll be able to get it in the link below. Uh, th this patch is from my song called Another Breath on my brand new EP out now on Disciple. Have a good time, guys. This is Phase One. Until next time.